What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Dig It Podcast. I'm your host, Drew Walsh. And today we got a quick episode. It's just going to be me. And it's just really based upon a conversation I had with a peer of mine, close buddy Carl and Andrews, who's been on this podcast several times, who works with youth infielders on a weekly basis. He coaches in college. And we had a conversation. He had he had an athlete struggling with failure, right? Like, you know, just having a tough time. It, we play baseball or softball. It's a tremendously challenging sport. We have to deal with a lot of failure. So this is a topic that I'm constantly around, right? Like I work with infielders on a weekly basis of all ages. And, you know, coming in from the weekend, they may have had a big perfect game tournament or they just had a one a one day um, locally. And sometimes when you ask them how the weekend went, it's, it, it really depends on on the result, right? It kind of depends on how they did individually first and then maybe as a team, right? That's usually the second thing is like, I did this, I did that, we won or we lost. And and that's fine, right? You know, we ask them a question and it comes off as individual. So the, the main point here is this game's hard, life's hard, right? There's gonna be so many more times that we fail than we have success. And success is super arbitrary. Success m- most times is is a metric, right? Like I went three for four. I threw X amount of innings and only gave up a certain amount of hits. I fielded all my uh, ground balls cleanly. So it's a lot more metric based. But I think when you play a game as challenging as baseball and softball that you deal with failure on a daily basis, success has to be redefined. OK, success, we have to look at a bigger picture at the macro versus the micro, meaning we have to start to look at like, OK, what did I do well today? I didn't get four hits, but I hit the ball hard. That's successful as it gets for me. Right. Is it is it ideal? Would you have rather had four hits? Of course. But it's just again, it's the macro. If you get caught up in the micro too often, it could become consuming and it could become a tough place mentally to move forward in and excel. So there's always something you did well, we hope, in a game, right? Like maybe you had really good first steps, like really good hop recognition. Maybe you were tracking the baseball really well at the plate. Maybe you had really good command on on your spin when you were pitching. Like there's always something you could find successful within a practice uh, a game or just extra work on your own okay and within the conversation with a peer we're sitting there talking and, and he had a coach back in the day you know after a rough rough outing like a tough game did not perform well metrically and it happens often he called it ah, oh well let's chalk it up to a character building day and it kind of hit me on my oh, that is absolutely gold. Like a character building day couldn't en- encompass that more accurately and kind of puts a whole new spin and perspective on what a lot of athletes or coaches or parents perceive to be such a negative day. I went over for four, but sure you did. That's, you can't deny that, but it doesn't have to be your only perspective and what you got out of that day game or practice, you know, character can be defined in a lot of different ways, guys. But one of a couple of the definitions I found, and the one that I like the most is character is the way someone thinks, feels, and behaves. Again, character is the way someone thinks, feels, or behaves. So if you just take a step back and look at that that definition, or you just replay that back in your head. There's only one person in there. Someone thinks you control that, feels you control that, behaves you control that, right? So, of course, you went over four. That's an external feedback that you have control of how you perceive that and how that affects you. You could be a victim and not take any accountability. And, oh my God, like I couldn't get, I got no strike calls. I got unlucky today. They made every play on me. They backed up when I was up. Whatever. There's a million excuses. We'll never have a shortage of those. It's a tough game to play, right? And you're giving so much power away as an athlete. 
to someone else, whether it be the game, the ump, the other coach, your teammates, you're giving power away when you make excuses. Okay. So the way someone thinks you control that you could think I had a really rough day today, but I learned a lot about myself. I learned how to deal with failure. I learned how to deal with tough teammates, tough coaches, tough umpires. Okay. I went over four. You could feel horrible about that, right? You could feel upset about that. And I respect that. You're a competitor. You work your butt off. You want to you wanna succeed and, and you want to achieve. I get it. Understanding, again, the macro. You could either feel, you know, take your few minutes after the game. Damn, like I'm mad. I'm a little bit frustrated. I know I got a lot of work to do. All right, turn the page, right? Like I could feel empowered by what I need to work on because I failed to continue to get better, to strengthen any chinks in my armor. So I could ultimately, my outcome, you know, I could feel empowered and invigorated after that, right? Like if I have a good perspective and look at a, a horrible metric day and just be like, hey, that's a, that's a character building day right there. Chalk it up to that. Boom. I know what I need to work on tomorrow. And then we have behaves, right? So the way someone thinks, feels, and then behaves. Again, kind of back to the excuses. You could behave in a way that's a victim and it's not your fault and you're not taking out accountability and you're letting other people make excuses for you. Or you could just say, not like I'm a human, like I failed. It is what it is. Like if I want to be the best infielder or, or hitter or pitcher, I'm going to fail my way there. And it doesn't have to be like every time you go out, you fail. No, it's just that you're, there's always something to improve upon. So behavior is huge, okay? Behavior is, is also like how you're perceived, like your body language on the field. There's a, I mean, you can't get yourself crossed off a list, say a recruiting list, if you have good body language. You can get yourself crossed off a recruiting list if you have bad body language. So again, that's up to you if that's your character or not. So again, we have character building day. I think it's just really cool to to re reorganize our thoughts about failing and take maybe a perceived negative day, like a really frustrating day and add a little humor to it as well. Like, mm, I'm building character, baby, and and, and just kind of move on because there's nothing you could do about it anyway. Like the more you complain about it, the more you make excuses, the more you're letting it linger instead of being like, all right, like on to the next. I need to grow and, and work and mentally and physically to get to the next character floor. OK, um, character is like an internal compass. All right. So you, uh, that you can control. You could let it go right or left, negative or positive. So understand that you have a lot of control as an athlete on how you perceive your performance. And, you know, don't let your results become your identity, right? If you do really well, you're still a good, you're still a good dude, right? Like you're, you're the same person. You do really bad. You're still a good dude. You're a really good person. So don't let your outcomes on a field dictate who you are as a person, right? Just chalk it up to a character a character building day and show up tomorrow and then work on be have enough confidence to listen to the game and what it's trying to teach you. All right. So I thought that was really cool. If you're struggling and whether it's at the plate or just anywhere within in, in the game of performance, or even like a life, it's a, it's a, it's a character building day. All right. I thought that was a really good reframe to reorganize um, how you deal with failure. Again, character is the way someone thinks, feels, or behaves. All of those three statements are up to you and you have control. The more you complain and don't take accountability and become a victim, you are giving control to someone else. You are losing control. Okay. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you guys next week.